Greetings, July 27, 2016. Uh, the other day I came across the uh, flyer I had uh, got at the uh, Jewish Archives Unit of the uh, library, Susilo Library at the University of Washington in Seattle back in either 1990 or 91. One of several flyers I had saved from the papers of a now long, long deceased uh, Seattle Jewish uh, resident named Jacob Kaplan. And uh, uh, I'm going to add this footage to some uh, videos I took of the uh, history of Jewish writing from the 20, from the Ten Commandments of the 20th Century artwork that I did back in artwork back in 1990-91, and which uh, was exhibited for the first time ever this past May at a World Calligraphy exhibit at Seattle Central College. It al it also had been. A reproduced in color on the cover of the holiday issue of um, uh, of the uh, late Jewish transcript uh, newspaper that served uh, Jewish residents throughout Washington State for many years, uh, for 90 years actually, till it was shuttered by the Jewish Federation of Seattle uh, in March of 2015. Um, so we've got English on this side, the Yiddish on the right side, and the bottom paragraph I depicted pictorially in uh, Yiddish using Hebrew letters, so I'm going to read the uh, English of that uh, here. Attention Jewish men and women, mammoth mass meeting under the auspices of the Adath Israel of Seattle will be held at Washington Hall, large hall upstairs. It's actually uh, about a, I don't know, 10 block walk from where I live now, uh, 14th Avenue and East 1st Street. Sunday night, February 14th, 1915, beginning 7.30 p.m. sharp. The meeting will be addressed by the famous orator Rabbi Baruch Shapiro upon matters of vital interest to the Jewish community. This always tickles me. I always chuckle. The kosher meat question being settled. I have no idea how they settled it. I hope they ate good. The most, uh, next most important matter will be Talmud Torah. And this is the uh, part I depicted pictorially, except, as I mentioned, in Yiddish using Hebrew letters. This mammoth, this, sorry, this mass meeting is of the greatest importance to the Jewish men and women of the city. It will be recorded in the Golden Book of Seattle Jewish History as one of its greatest events. The update on the artwork is um, I'm still looking, hoping to find a home in Seattle or Puget Sound, at least, for the uh, artwork. A local uh, reform rabbi I've known for many years has offered to fundraise the framing costs, which is going to be uh, uh, three Gs uh, plus tax, and I'm hoping yet that the uh, work will be saved. I uh, have to find a place, a site uh, It's eight feet high by five feet wide. There you have it. Anyway, um, kind of a fascinating glimpse into Seattle, Jewish history from over 100 years ago, and I was remember thinking when I was working on the artwork that that uh, it was just a pure, pure, pure chance that I happened to choose Jacob Kaplan's papers as opposed to someone else happened to come across this flyer because otherwise this mammoth mass meeting that was to be recorded in the Golden Book of Seattle Jewish history as one of his great events would have fallen into complete obscurity, but but for chance. There you have it. Those who read Yiddish, I'll do a slow uh, pan here from top to bottom. The only part I can really make out, well, I can read Rav Baruch Shapiro. Actually, I can read Adat Israel. It's interesting how uh, Yiddish is uh, phonetically. Uh, actually, this is actually attention. I can read that Talmud Torah. Voila.